What's up everybody, Fran Grams here, back with another Pikmin video. Today, we're going to be talking about a major change that Pikmin 4 just made to the Pikmin franchise. If you'd like your YouTube page to be filled with Pikmin content, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, because that's all I basically talk about on this channel. Now let's get into it. So I first heard about this change on the website for Pikmin 4, the American one. I know I've been talking a lot about the Japanese one, but this is finally on the American website. And it reads, lead your squad through vast explorable areas to find treasures, discover new paths, and battle enemies of all sizes. You can also direct the Pikmin to collect and carry resources that are helpful for your mission. Up to three Pikmin types can be with you in the field at a time. The rest will hang back until you need them. Did you guys catch that? Up to three Pikmin types can be with you in the field at a time. Did you know about this? I need you to go down in the comments below and let me know right now. Pause the video and go down and let me know. Did you know that this three type limit was going to be in the game? I didn't up until what? Yesterday? And I just barely got the video out today. So this is big, isn't it? Or, or am I going crazy? Only three Pikmin types at a time. That's... I'm not even going to say it's bad. We'll get into my thoughts later. But yeah, I think it's really interesting how Nintendo decided to drop this information in like a website that not a lot of people have visited besides us Pikmin fans. And I guess it makes sense for them to do this because why would they reveal this in a trailer? Why would they explicitly say this information in a trailer? It's not really a net positive thing, is it? Sure, some people might think it's a positive thing because that means, oh, that's how you can manage all these Pikmin types in this game. It maybe balances it out. But that's kind of, I don't know, not a lot of people are going to be thinking that way at its face when they hear this information. So it makes sense that they did include this information because they kind of have to, but in the website. So yeah, that's those are my initial thoughts on it. Now we're going to get into if I think it's a good or a bad thing. I personally think it's a really interesting thing, leaning on the side of good. Because I guess a lot of people complain about Pikmin games being too easy. And this is a, a literal limit that they're placing on the game that makes it not that easy, right? I just hope that Nintendo didn't do it as a way to maybe make the game longer, like artificially, if that makes sense. Having to go back to your onion, get the other Pikmin types. I just hope it doesn't become tedious. But I mean, I trust Nintendo. They know not to make tedious gameplay a thing. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this change. And I did mention how I think this could change the Pikmin franchise. I know that sounds like a big statement to make, but hypothetically speaking, it kind of would say... If Nintendo made Pikmin 5 eight years from now, let's say Pikmin 4 was really popular and it only took them eight years to get this one out. Pikmin 5 would introduce all the Pikmin types again and you would need to have the limit return as well, the three type limit. Unless they change things up significantly, but yeah, that's just a random thought. I don't want to get too much into it. But that's enough of me talking. I want to hear what you guys think, especially if you didn't even know this information before watching this video. Go down in the comments below. It's going to be really interesting to read all the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching.